I have to rant in just a second here. Nitrome. Have I not recorded a video by Nitrome before? I, the introduction seems so familiar. And I love this music. It sounds like this game should be about the ghosts of aliens. I can easily hear this kind of music in uh, Metroid Prime, for instance, with a Chozo ghost. But this is Fault Line. And what I was going to rant about, there's two things I was going to rant about. Let's learn how to play the game. Walk around with A or D, jump with the up key, and then uh, create white nodes to connect fault lines by using the mouse. And then to remove a fault line, click the node. Okay, one. Wow. Oh, that's a little bit there. I'm adjusting the volume. My rant has to do with some... I've beaten the game, by the way. Comments that keep coming up. These people who phrase their comments in what is known as begging the question, uh, in a way. We See, this is how this game works. It's an awesome little concept where you actually literally fold the level together and create a wormhole, as it were. Um, phrasing comments such that you do know blank, right? Or... You know, you are aware of blah, right? And it's it's assuming... The question in and of itself assumes that they are correct. This is like thinking with portals. Do this again. Hop down here. It's just like that old stupid thing that people used to say when you're in, uh, you know, elementary school or something. It's like... When did you tell your parents you were gay? Uh, no, it's... The question is, did you tell your parents you're gay? And the answer... It's a yes or no question, but either one thus assumes the reality from the beginning that one is gay. And... Apparently, a lot of people on YouTube have an issue where they have to be... Uh, they have to assume the question from the beginning. They can't say something, like, uh, with uncertainty, like, I thought... You know, I thought, blah, blah, blah. Ah, don't crush me, please. Now, let's see if we can get up on top of this. Can I... Can I jump that high? No, okay, so I gotta... Gotta release that and walk up the side here. I played this game a couple days ago, so I don't remember all of the levels. But anyway, yeah, um, I've gotten, like, a couple comments like that just in the past few days, and they really... They anger me when I get comments like that. Because it's not even something that you can really respond to, because to respond is to allow them to assume that their uh, their reality is as things are. Okay, so I want to fall down here. Do that to get rid of the laser. Jump across. Oh, I suppose I can show you these right here, although I think I have to die to do it. If you step on one of these, it automatically undoes your, uh, your fold. So you have to make sure that you're not landing on these. Actually, I think I can step on it now. Yeah, out, outside the, the realm of the laser. Oh, the controls are a bit floaty in this game. And, uh, oop, there we go. That's a checkpoint. So you can have some issues. Ah, I accidentally hit that. Okay, try this again. Fold together. And that's not what I wanted to do. I think I'm stuck now. Yeah, I'm stuck. Actually, I might not have been completely stuck. Oh, let's try this. If you try to fold yourself, you will get... The game says, no, thou mayest not fold thyself. All right, fall through there. There we go. And then now here, see, there's no way that I could go back and click that last one, so they put these little uh, buttons in here. So they serve a purpose. They're not just traps. There is a game design reason why they are there. Uh, beyond kind of messing with you. So I can step on it, create this platform, and head on up. And man, do I love that music. There is an issue with this game, and I'm waiting for the, uh, a level where I can really show it off. And that is the fact that when you make folds, you can make more than one fold at a time. I'm in the habit of just putting things back as I found them. So after I make a fold, um, I then unfold it. <laughs> We jump like that. Just so you don't have to constantly deal with the uh, level being folded up in a weird way. But if you do fold two things at once... Ah, uh, you can't click on stuff once you step on there. 
you can only unfold the last fold you made, so you can't unfold things uh, in a different order. This level has, I'm just going to die here, these are permanent folds. There is no um, things to click to unfold them, so they will always be, ow, folded up. i got to wait for this to come back. I'm trying to be a little bit faster. Alright, so here I want to grab that, grab that, bring them together. Um, there's another issue with this, although ah, I fell off. Luckily, I have a nice little save spot right here. You can, uh, you can to some degree, affect things while they're off screen. Uh, so let's just go ahead and do this. Click, and there we go. It'll fold it up like that. But you can't, if something is just off screen, like there's a few levels where those little nodes are just off screen, you can't affect them. It won't let you touch them. So here, this, like most other things, kills you. So you do that, and now those are gone. Fall through, hit a save point, hit a button to undo that. Not that there's really any reason to. Now when you bring these together, note that this co these come close enough together that they form the death field. So then you have, to unrele you have to release it. Wow. Not coming up with a lot of stuff to say. Why did I do that? Click that. I think there's a reason. Ah, yes, there's one of those right in the middle. So redo that, jump into the exit field, and continue on our way. Um, I'm going to mention right now, there's 30 levels in this game, so it's probably going to take multiple videos, and I'm not uploading them all in one at one time. Uh, just because it's... Oh, you're bringing these lasers over to shoot those out. Okay, now that those are gone. One, we can go up here but there's really nothing up here except for this field. So, you squeeze those together, get it to shoot out those other two. Shoot, shoot, jump up here, and die. Don't know why I did that. Okay, click, click, separate that back out, and now we've gotten rid of everything in our way and we can get up to the exit. Jump, jump! I love the design on this little guy, too. He looks kind of like uh, the guys from Castle Crashers. And, uh, his funky little arms are cool, too. Alright, so these are more permanent... Ugh. Get up there. Ah, I missed it. Try again in just a sec here. Alright, get up. Get up. Ah, there we go. More permanent fields of uh, crushiness. Let's get right there and jump up on top. I can release that now. And again, I don't think you have to necessarily release... <laughs> I remember the first time I played this level, I didn't land on this. I jumped, went straight down here, died, went back to the beginning of the level. And I think it was my second or third time getting to this point where I finally found out that that was there. Ah! Okay, get over here. It's going to disappear again, and get up there. Easy plus peasy. Does this tell me what level I'm on? I'm on room 10. Okay, I'm a third of the way done. What are we going to do here? Well, let's see. Ah, so you see we have these little purple canisters in the way. So you bend to the room, and that brings the laser. Laser breaks. Go down. Okay, laser breaks the canister. And then, ugh, head across. Head across. Bend to the room again. Laser breaks the other canister. Now, why was that important? Well, because now... I bridged those two together, and the lasers that were down here are gone. Normally you would have stuff in the way, though, and you wouldn't be able to fall down. All is well, all is beautiful, all is wonderful. Alright, uh, we are getting into the parts of the game where I don't necessarily remember everything that I'm doing. Okay, so I somehow need to get in there. This is obviously not the right way. Oh, although I can show you now, if I bring those together, and then I bring those together... I can't undo this one. I have to undo this one first. Which is annoying, but I can undo that one, and then I can bring those together, and jump across. So there's a couple times where you think you'd be able to just, you know, undo them in a different order, but no. And that adds a whole new level to this that's kind of an issue. Now, bring those together, and that field starts. Get on across, undo. We are now through that door. All right, so now where do we want to bring? I think we want to bring these two together, because that'll bring the... Ah! Go back to the start. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. All 
Welcome to falling right into the trap that you just explained and dodged. There we go. So, if I do that, that does nothing for me. So undo, undo. What if I bring you guys together? Wait, that's the ones I just brought together. Undo. What if I bring you guys together? There we go. That gets rid of that third one right there. And then we fall down, hit the button, undo any breaks we may have entered into the system. If I do that, those are now crushed and jump right over them. I don't think that's how they want you to solve that puzzle, or is it? No, I don't think it's how they want you to solve the puzzle. What if I do that? Yeah, that's what they expect you to do, and then you find out you have to do it the other way. Just like in Portal, they kind of engage you in this alternate thinking. Where are we now? 13? Okay, um... This room... If I can remember how to go through here. Pop through to this side. Not that that matters. Uh, pop through like this. Click. You need to get over on this side because that extra little ledge there allows you to uh, get up where you need to be. Then we come down here. Nope, not those. These. Ha! Look at that. Finished that off. Then you can bring these two together and come on through to the other side. Oh, there's a button there. I was wondering why the thing immediately unfolded. Room 14. Oh, I hate this level. Okay, because this one, you've got these chains, uh, these chain swords from Warhammer 40k that exist uh, within the weird barrier. Okay, you need to walk right under it now. Perfect. And yet another chain sword. Luckily, we've hit uh, a checkpoint. And this will be the last level I do here. So. Or will it? Let's take a look at what level 15 looks like. I don't think... Oh, this one's not that hard. Okay, so bring these together. Now what you need to do is fall through here. Fall... Th okay, fall through here. Hit that. Hit that. And then get through here like that. Hit that. Hit that. And then jump through there. Sweet. Now we go this way. I'm not actually saying very much, am I? I'm just like, we do this, then we do that, then blah, 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 then blah, 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 some more. And then, you know, just for just for fun, let's add some extra blahs in there, because who doesn't like a good blah? All right, there we are, halfway through the game. And maybe when I record the next half of this, uh, I will have a little more energy. So until next time, bye-bye.